everybody i am finally back with a, another bullet journal video yes it has been a long time which is stupid because i've only just started the youtube channel so really i should be quite good at this um or well not good at it but learning the ropes and actually producing videos in a timely fashion but no no i am not i am back now if you haven't seen my witch casket video i am back at home which means I am back on my normal editing software, at my desk, and oh my god, things are just so much easier here. So much easier. Um, I filmed most of August. I did film July, okay, I did film July, and you saw the flip through at the beginning. Um, I really loved July, and I'm really annoyed that the video didn't come out great, but unfortunately, it didn't, so I just had to reevaluate my life and figure out how to do August because I didn't want to miss that out as well. I know it's super late, it's like the end of August, and I'm like, hey guys, this is my August bullet channel. Um, yeah, so yeah, July was really good, but unfortunately, I couldn't film it. And I did do August on the floor of my sister's bedroom, or sisters, I've got two of them, um, of their bedroom. And this theme is books, which is heavily inspired by another YouTuber on YouTube, obviously. Uh, her name is Hella or Hala, because it's a U, so many Hala Alice. <laughs> and I will link her down below. Go check it out. I think it's her November 2018 bullet journal. I don't think she does bullet journals anymore. I think she just does art, which is great, because like I like looking at art videos as well. But you know, it was heavily inspired by that. Uh, there will be many things cropped out because I just could not, I was lying on the floor with a pillow underneath me and it was the hardest thing to do in the world. <laughs> and I got my new bone ruler, oh my god I got my bone ruler from the Spooky Box Club which I have also subscribed to, oh my gosh. Right, I brought this bone ruler, it was £3 guys, it was £3 and it's in the shape of a bone. My family, including my boyfriend, does not understand, but I have been so happy about this bloody ruler. Do you want to know why I'm happy about the bloody ruler? Do you want to know why? Because finding spooky stationery or spooky anything usually has a massive price tag on it, but this was £3 guys, £3, I was so happy, uh, so I brought it. I'm happy about it, I don't care, I'm happy, okay? <laughs> I did, um, <clears throat> sorry, I had a bit of a drink that I got a bit of a tickly throat at the moment. I, yeah, so this is a book theme, but also kind of like scrolls. I and mean, it took me ages to learn how to draw scrolls. Um, but I'm really proud of them, actually. I think they look pretty cool. So I am really happy. And you saw me do some watercolouring at the beginning, and I used a actual paintbrush that you're supposed to use for a wall. I don't know if that ruined my pages or the amount of water I was using ruined my pages. I'm not sure, but we are back with the watercolour game. No, I don't know why I do this to myself, but here we are. There's the bone ruler, look, it's so beautiful. Sorry, I'm sorry, it's a 15 centimetre ruler and I love it. I don't know why, I just do. Um, I will link Spooky Box Club down below as well because they are fantastic. I haven't got my first box yet and I'm so bloody excited. I'm so excited, but it hasn't arrived. So I'm going to have to wait. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I decided to do some scrolls as well, and oh god, this setup took so long, so long, purely because my back just was in so much pain from just laying on the floor at an awkward angle, there you go, you can see that I wrote it in white, um, and I used this really nice washi tape that I haven't used yet, it's, um, what do they call it? Steampunk, and this vintage washi tape that my boyfriend got me for Christmas, which I haven't used yet, and I thought vintage and old books and scrolls kind of made sense. And they are stamps? Wait, let me check. Yeah, they're kind of like stamps, and I really quite, I don't know, I really liked it, and I thought, yeah, I'm going to use that, it's cool. So there you go, that's what I did. I've got my YouTube tracker, which has been really bad for the month of July and August, because as you probably have seen my YouTube hasn't exactly been uploading everything my family's internet is rubbish and also there's nowhere to film in my household absolutely nowhere to film the lighting is bad there's nowhere to put the camera oh my gosh we struggled it was so much effort even just to do the witch cask it was so much effort but like I said I am back home now and hopefully things will be a little bit smoother um, I combined my YouTube schedule thingy 
with my mood tracker because I thought it was just a really perfect place to put it and this I literally pretty much copied this off of Hello Alice um, I just loved her idea of stacking books up and having the numbered days on it and me and my sister struggled to spell 15 I'm not sure why but halfway through I was like Ria how do you spell 15 and she was like I don't know and then she told me how to spell it and it was wrong so <laughs> 15 is spelt wrong on this but you know shit happens <laughs> we'll move forward <laughs> so yeah you just colour in the books and I've picked some uh, vintagey colours I think well I try to I try to think of vintage colours so I've got like a red browns some sort of goldy colour grey and like a really nice green and you will see that probably in my September bullet journal setup which I have already started okay I, have st I haven't started filming I've started preparing prepare because I really want it to be nice and um, it's a special theme for my boyfriend so I thought I should really take care and give it a go properly um, so that he is a little bit proud and not disgusted like he was with my um, what was he disgusted at? oh it was my beach <laughs> my beach watercolour he was horrified I've never seen him so horrified but he was he was horrified by that so yeah, just going through my usual setups of sleeping. Oh, I didn't even read the quote at the beginning, did I? Oh, let's go back. So the quote on the front page is one of my favourite quotes ever. I have no idea if it is by George R. R. Martin, who I believe has done the Game of Thrones. It said it was from George on, or Mr. Martin, on... Um, Pinterest so I've just gone with it but it says a reader lives a thousand lives before he dies and I think that's really lovely uh, it's one of my favorite quotes ever and I read that a very very long time ago I think a few people have actually said it to be honest but I couldn't find an a person who said it so I just said it was him because that's what it said on Pinterest so yeah here I am making my mental health tracker uh, which I've added some books and a couple of scrolls to make it look pretty and I have left some of the titles blank, white, black, and some of them are brown because my sister said that looked quite nice. So she was my uh, helper. And she also, oh yes, thank you Ria for letting me borrow your washi tape, the gold special washi tape that's like really shiny. Um, she let me borrow because I had more of a dull gold. It's, I don't know how to, it's like a, maybe a dusky dull gold I don't know but hers was shiny and it was very very pretty so thanks Ria love you bye um yeah so I did have to cut quite a few things out and this was just mental to try and sort out absolutely bloody mental absolutely mental I I apologize to anybody who actually has that accent because I just desecrated it with my poor impersonation <laughs> so I'm so sorry <laughs> Oh, I don't know what's wrong with me today. Just finally happy that I'm doing another bloody voiceover. I am actually, I'm kind of struggling and not struggling. We're about halfway through the video and I don't really know what to talk about anymore other than what I have done. Oh, actually, I could talk about this. So, <laughs> um, I, as you saw, I painted, or not painted, kind of watercolored the front page and instead of filming it all, I decided to cut it out and I watercolored these other pages for a few lines a day to make them look like books as well. Unfortunately the front page actually came out really dark, it wasn't the colour I was hoping or expecting it to be, I think I wanted a more of a reddy brown rather than a brown. Um, but yeah so I lightened the colour for these pages and I decided to do scrolls to try and make them look well like scrolls. Um, not massively proud of it, it is very very wonky, very wobbly, I thought that would look cool at the time but now I'm trying to actually write in it, I'm not pleased because it's just everywhere, it's all over the place, I mean it looks okay, from a distance it looks okay, you know, but if I had to do it again I'd probably get the ruler out or maybe try something different, I was thinking of maybe doing um, open books and then I thought no that's going to be way too stretched like no open book is that long and then the quote I'm writing is another quote from Pinterest that I found and it says happiness is a state of mind it's just according to the way you look at things which is from apparently Walt Disney and everybody likes a bit of Walt Disney especially because he is a massive story creator he's like well he's dead now obviously but he was and the Disney franchise is still bloody huge I mean it basically controls the world them and Coca-Cola let's be honest so 
and seeing as they've made stories from all over the world and it just made sense to have a bit of Walt in there, you know? You gotta love a bit of Walt Disney. I wonder what... Oh, I really struggle to say what my favourite Disney film is. I... Mm, it's really, really hard because there's so many good ones. Do you know what? I can tell you my favourite Disney villain. My favourite Disney villain is Ursula. I relate to her on so many levels. <laughs> She's brilliant. And that poor unfortunate soul song, I would sing it, but... I don't want to embarrass myself even further than what I have done so far. But yeah, she's my favourite Disney villain. She really, really is. Um, I like Jafar as well. What's the other Disney villain that I liked? I don't remember. No, I really don't remember. I don't know. I have an unpopular opinion about Moana though. I do like the film, everyone thinks I don't like it because of my unpopular opinion. I do like the film Moana, I think it's great and I love the songs and everything. But, does no one else think it's a reverse Little Mermaid? So Little Mermaid wanted to get out of the sea and she wants to get in it. I mean it even has a Disney villain crab that sings a very similar song to Unfortunate Like, I don't know. I still like it, but it just reminds me like a lot of um, The Little Mermaid. And I hate Frozen. I'm sorry to Frozen fans out there, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I think it's the worst bloody film that Disney's ever done. Um, this whole thing about, you know, you don't need to find love to, I don't know, whatever it was talking about, but like Mulan, Mulan saved her entire country. Okay, not a town, her entire country, and she didn't need love to do that. She defied laws as well. I'm sorry, Mulan is a bro Oh, yes, actually, Mulan's probably my favourite film. I love Mulan. I watched it the other day. I know all the songs. <laughs> anyway, I should probably talk about the Village Journal for a little bit. Let me know what your favourite Disney film and uh, villain is down below. Anyway, so I actually created these spreads. This is my creativeness here, guys. This is the peak of my creativeness. <laughs> I did the first page which has a book, a scroll, a closed book, other scrolls and I was really really proud of it and then I struggled for the rest and I was like eh, I don't know what to do for the other ones so I kind of did one on the right which you can see is like loads of scrolls and then I copied the first one about three times because I really liked it um, I just really like the layout of it and I'm really proud that I was able to create my own layout and make it look kind of cool. Usually I just go on Pinterest or look at YouTube and basically copy other like layouts and spreads but this time I was like no do it yourself like look for yourself so I did try and uh, yeah I'm really pleased actually really really pleased. Um, I didn't need a lot of space in August or July which is why I've only done one week pages because usually I do two week pages um, because I have really big handwriting anyway and then there's not enough room for me to write everything down but I'd, like I said I literally had nothing to write I think I will show you I had nothing to write so here we go right uh, let's go back to July what so Sunday the 21st of July I have face, boots, 2.30pm and that's it because <laughs> I got my face made, that sounds really weird, I um, I went to boots and I basically got a makeover done and I was so pleased and I went back like, every week, <laughs> it was really fun, um, Lucia and Megan did my makeup from boots down at Brentwood, if they are watching, shout out to you guys, I miss you guys, come do my makeup down here please, <laughs> yeah they're great. And um, I found, yeah, so I found a new colour. I I don't know, I can't remember if I mixed this colour or if it was a different tube that I hadn't used, but it was that sort of lighter goldy brown and that looks sort of ancient E, doesn't it? Ancient E, yeah, ancient E. Uh, that's not even probably a word. No, I don't think it is. Anyway, it looks kind of ancient like. <laughs> so. Yeah, I was happy that I found that because I think that's the colour I basically wanted the front page to be. Like the one I'm doing now. That sort of colour that I wanted it to be, but it went really dark and brown. I'm not 100% sure if I actually like this theme. There are aspects that I like about it, but I'm, I think it may be the colours. I'm not a massive brown. I know that sounds really stupid, 
because I chose this theme but I am not a massively brown fan I love books and I love ancient books and like old books but I'm not a brown fan I don't know if I had to do it again maybe I would choose a different colour oh yeah sorry boyfriend came in this is when I'm back at home and he decided to get my cats off of my uh, altar and um, put them in the video so I slowed it down for you guys so you can see his his specialness <laughs> he does that all the time he'll put his face or his hand in it or something weird I think what did he put in last time he was trying to put something inappropriate in my video last time no it wasn't his penis but I can't remember what it was though but yeah so I have to keep an eye on him when he's around because he thinks it's funny and uh, sometimes it can be but here we are on the flip through so I will leave you guys if you want to like subscribe and comment then please do please share as well and I will see you all next time with my September bullet journal plan with me so bye everyone bye love you bye